before fitting the eyeball, we'll prepare our mesh. Enable Display All Edges. Add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. And adjust the same settings as we did for the eyeball. Select All in Edit Mode and press W for Shade Smooth. The surface normals need to be fixed. Under Mesh Display, we'll display face normals. Some of these faces are flipped inside out. To fix this, select All in Edit Mode and press Ctrl-N to recalculate normals. Now all normals are facing outward in the correct direction. Turn off the Normals display. We'll name this Geo Body. And now we're ready to start fitting the eyeball. Shift select the second layer to display the eyeball and cornea. With both selected, adjust scale and placement. We'll switch the display for the cornea back to solid. Right now, the eyeball iris is lining up in front view, but there's a big gap here at the inner eye socket. In top view, we'll adjust placement and add a bit of rotation. Now that the fit is correct at the inner and outer corners, We'll translate the rest of these forward. Toggling between subsurf visibility off and on, we'll continue to smooth out the shape. For both the eyeball and cornea, we'll apply the scale to clear out the values. As a final step, we'll add a mirror modifier. Move this modifier up in the stack so it's above the subsurf modifier. And to mirror these correctly, will make the geo body their mirror object. At this early stage, we're just fitting the eyes in its general place. 
The eye placement is something I'll go back to a few times to adjust, as the head is continuing to take form.